Hi, I'm Scott Willison, owner of the Confluence Fly Shop in Bellingham, Washington. Uh, we're now into August. Uh, one of our favorite local fisheries is up in the North Cascades at, at Ross Lake. Uh, Ross is a huge lake, about 23 miles long. Um, has some big wild rainbows in it, uh, big bull trout, uh, and their primary food source is the redside shiner. Somehow these uh, bait fish ended up in the lake uh, several years ago, and uh, it's producing some very, very large wild rainbows, um, 20 plus inches, uh, that are very well fed. Uh, the lake is just absolutely full of shiners, and so today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite uh, Ross Lake Shiner patterns here. Um, we'll just call it the Ross Lake Shiner. Um, going to start with a size 6 Gamagatsu B10S hook. I like the fact that this has a wide gape to it. It seems very adept at hooking fish and keeping fish on. And the thread I'm using today is 140 denier ultra thread in white. Um, for our eyes, we're going to use small size um, pseudo eyes there. These have the yellow pupils. Sometimes I, I use the red ones as well. And we're going to start our eyes back fairly far. Kind of directly above the point of the hook. And we'll just secure those with a figure eight wrap. I like setting everything farther back. It just reduces this fly's kind of inherent desire to to foul around the hook there. And then once those are in there securely, I'm going to start with the top wing there. And these eyes are going to make the fly flip in the water, so this top will become the bottom, but we're going to use some white Blood Quill Marabou here. Now what I like to do is cut off the tip of the feather and then cut this little tip piece out. That way I get nice even Marabou on both sides. And we're going to tie that in in front of the eyes here. our thread under the eyes and behind them. Run. Trim that off. And then we're going to work on the other side of it here. So I'll just flip that vise in there. Now, for a little bit of flash, we're going to add some silver ice wing fiber. One of the things you'll notice about Ross is there are sections of it where it, there are literally just shiners everywhere. So, like a fly that has some little different characteristics, maybe a different size, you know, bigger than the naturals, a little different color scheme. Something that's going to get noticed among the, the, the hordes of fry. So this is about the average size of what they're, what they're eating. Uh, you know, two, two and a half inches. But uh, we're going to add, for kind of a mid-wing on this, some burgundy marabou, which kind of makes this thing stand out in the water. So... We'll treat this one the same way. Cut out the center section. Cut out the tip there. And then we'll add that in. This one's going to be just a hair longer than the, the white underwing. that in place. 
And then we're going to add a layer. A lot of shiners have a, have kind of a, a very dark lateral line. So I'm going to use some black light angel hair. This has kind of a nice UV tone to it. And this is going to be our, our lateral line here. So I'm going to tie that in kind of a longer piece in the center and then we'll fold the rest back here. Next we're going to add a little bit more flash. We're going to use olive ripple ice fiber and a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. So I've got half a dozen strands and I'm going to tie that in just like I did the, the black light angel hair. And we will fold that back. We're going to top that with some dark olive marabou which I will prepare the same way. this a little shorter than the, the burgundy. I'll cover up those thread wraps here. I like these flies that are fairly straightforward and easy to tie because one of the things you'll find fishing Ross Lake is it is full of stumps so you will lose a lot of flies. One of the last things I'm going to add here is some black and olive Senyos Bard Predator Wrap. This is just going to give it a little bit of a, a mottled appearance. I'm going to pull out, I've got two or three long strands here. Yeah, we will lay that over the top and then fold back over. Build up a, a nice big head here with our thread and then we're going to kind of Randomly trim this stuff. Don't really want it all one length. Be careful or you don't cut your marabou. You want the natural taper of the fibers there. And the angel hair and, and ripple ice fiber, if it's too long, you can usually just kind of pinch it with your fingers and it's good. Now, the last thing we're going to add is just a little lateral line of uh, micro pearl flashaboo. And I'm going to add. Take one long strand, so I've cut off two here, and we're going to do one strand doubled over on each side. This just gives it that sort of get noticed quality in the water as this reflects light. sure we've got everything covered up there with the thread head. We'll go ahead and whip finish here. And then we'll trim side flash is needed. I think we're in good shape there. I'm going to turn the fly back over. Now for finishing the head on this we're going to go a little above above and beyond. I'm going to start by just kind of wetting this marabou on top 
to get it to to lay down a little flat there and then what I have done is in my little silicone loon mixing cup I've mixed some thin UV fly finish with some of the pearl red fly tying powder here and that's going to give it some additional sparkle and shine in the water. So I'm just going to take my bodkin and kind of mix mix that up in there. And then we'll apply some over the eyes. Try to get those thread wraps behind the eyes there too. of our thread wraps. This is another another little little addition that really makes this fly kind of pop in the water. And we've got Good coverage there. So we'll go ahead and take our curing light. And give that a few seconds under the light. And then we're all set with the fly. One of the cool things about these mixing cups too is let's say I wanted to change color or I was totally done with this. Uh, to get it out of here, all I've got to do is hit it with the light. Dry that up. And pops right out of there and I'm good to go for another round. There you have it, the Ross Lake Shiner. Thanks for watching.